Wang Shirlong. Born in 1930 in Henan province to a relatively wealthy family, he had spent most of his childhood in relative ease. That was until the Chinese Civil War occurred, where he then served in the propaganda department of the People's Liberation Army as a photographer and an oil painter between 1948 and 1950. Wang had decided to become a photojournalist for the local newspaper and traveled through central China for more than 30 years. During his career, Wang focused the majority of his photography on the working class people around him. By having his focus on the working class people around him, Wang was effectively giving them power. By presenting the people and only the people, especially in positions of power such as talking to Chairman Mao or even showing educational progress being made in villages, this not only gave the people confidence, it gave them the false idea that they were in charge of their own fate. What Wang had also done was craft the image of Mao Zedong amongst the people in China. In the photographs that Wang had taken of Mao, he is almost indistinguishable from the villages around him. He looks as if he belongs there, and simply just another farmer. By doing so, Wang had crafted the image of Mao that he was just a man just as any other person. Wang had shown the people that their leader was simply human just like them, and further increased Mao's reputation amongst the people. From Mao's newfound influence amongst the people in China, he used this to shape their beliefs, such as telling his people to throw away the old bourgeois art and traditions, and by burning it symbolize a new step forward amongst his people, that they were no longer chained by their own history. This is not to say that Mao was entirely against the arts. He often had traveling opera bands that would travel from village to village telling stories of the Chinese Civil War and how the People's Liberation Army were essentially the good guys. Wang often followed these tropes as their theatrical expressions often made for great photographs, while also showing the readers of the paper how to properly use art. Art was no longer something that was held to the individual anymore. Art had to be something that supported the Communist Party. Anything else would be treated as a traitorous action.